the Blackburn team taking a chance on Scott Sellers, the number 11, who hasn't played a first team game this season and hasn't even been involved with the pre season training. He had a groin operation, and Garner there had a pelvic operation and has only played a handful of games this season. Referee Michael Fex from Cumbria. And this is the Liverpool team that he'll be looking after today. Liverpool unchanged for a change. So all is in readiness here. There's a storm warning. Indeed, the AA and the police have warned that it may hit here at its peak around 5.30. The game will be over by then. But uh, the conditions out there, John Giles, are really dreadful at the moment. A high, a very high wind. The worst that football could be played in, I suppose. Yes, and uh, usually if you're going to get upsets, it's on days like these that you get them. Whereas a high wind, the pitch is uh, fairly firm, it's dried out and it's a bit bumpy. So uh, if, if it's a day for the underdogs, it certainly suits Blackburn. But again, good players can master these conditions and they should be able to play. But it is difficult. I, I certainly wouldn't like to be playing in them today. That first for Liverpool. And diving in there was Howard Gale. Pretty aptly named today, I should think. Quite all the battering is taken from the bad weather, the pitch is in pretty good nick here. That's Ray Houghton with the free kick. Dangerously across the face of that goal. And the wind is blowing in Liverpool's favour, although the wind's squalling around here, you'd never know. That's Ian Rush, who in his career had scored 32 FA Cup goals, the most of any current player. This man renowned for a long throw, David May. Only 20 years old, the centre back of Blackburn Rovers. In there causing a bit of problems. Garner knocked it down on Sellers, trying to present the chance. To John Miller coming in on it. David Burrows, John Barnes. Good play, Frank Stapleton. Then, in the end, Miller couldn't get it across. And Barnes in possession for Liverpool, always a danger. But the crowd around him in an isolate circle, and he can't beat them all. Nichols header. Flicked on by McMahon, and here's Rosenthal. Here's the chance. He changed feet superbly. A one and one Rosenthal against Mims. Rosenthal appeared to change feet. That give him that, that extra breath of space. But watch this. Just outside the post. In fact, when he got through there, he, he wasn't really set up for the shot. Uh, when he got him through here, watch the ball under his foot, under his left foot. It's too near his right foot when he's going to make the shot. And I think he knows it himself. See it there, make the angle. It either had to be the outside of his left foot or take it on this the other side of the goalkeeper and uh, just get it around him with the inside of his left foot. This is Atkins, the left back of Blackburn, to Scott Sellers. Played left side midfield or left side attacking half and half. Drops down to Nicky Reid. And it was fumble weed from Gravela. Good shot by Nicky Reid. The skipper of Blackburn Rovers, former Manchester City player, of course. I think if we see that again, Jim, you'll see it dipping through the air. Although it was a low shot, uh, he's, he's hitting it against the wind. And it did, did uh, dip quite badly. But I think Gravela should have done better than he did. Gale got a touch on it. Then came the fullback, Duxbury. And Liverpool glad to play it away any port in a storm, and it's quite a storm here at Ewood Park. David Burrows here for Liverpool. John Barnes. Nice tie control. Interception by Duxbury. He's an experience. He won't be sold out too easily by Barnes. Ball being played through here to Garner. And the interception by Glendus in. Garner again. Nice teasing cross, and Gravelar's in trouble, here's Stapleton! That was a brilliant chance for Stapleton, and then for Sellers, and Gravelar doesn't know where he is. Stapleton having a fresh air. And Blackburn might have taken the lead. 
Well, what a good cup tie it's proving to be. Here's Kevin Moore. Rock solid at the heart of the Blackburn defence. But a moment will chat around Blackburn this evening about when Bruce Gravelar was one more time in trouble, John. He will park packed to capacity. All 19 and a half thousand places sold for this game today. The biggest crowd and goodness knows when. And how well the team has played for them. Garner to Atkins. Stop over there by Nickel. In came Stapleton, who do well. Oh, ever so well, Blackburn are playing. Not a bad cross either. And Graveler is in trouble again. Nicky Reid was coming in. And a none too happy Bruce Graveler. Glad to concede the corner kick. Hey, the tall, lanky centre back is up there for this. Going towards him at Barnes. Got the header in. Nicky Reid's at the end of it for Blackburn now. Garner. He got a good cross. Reaches Miller. Dropped down to the head of Atkins. And Gale was pretty close to Gravelar. As Brucey grabbed hold of it. Great work by Frank Stapleton there. He'd been involved in the build-up. And again, Grobler not confident again. I think again he should have done better. Then with Stapleton. Moran. Behind him, May. You say it again, three headers in a few seconds. Nice play by Sellers. Now Garner to Gale. He had nowhere to go. Reid was coming, backing him up square. Out and doing well. Duxbury dives in. Staunton, nice stop there on Miller. Here's Houghton on the break for Liverpool. McMahon running ahead of him. Barnes in the centre forward position. Rosenthal at outside right. Rush pulling away to the back post. Barnes ready at the near post and a corner go kick to Liverpool. It certainly is an excellent game when you consider the conditions. Uh, it is a very, very bad wind out there. And the pitch is very dry and a little bit bumpy. A good nick for this time of year, but still a little bit bumpy. An excellent game so far. Staunton's corner. The back flick on. In went Rodney Rosenthal. And the crowd applauding Bobby Mims, who's just come to them. Great save. Mims has certainly uh, paid back some of his feet there. We'll see that again. It was an excellent save. And still the action continues, almost non-stop. No loitering for many of these players today. John Barnes taking on Mike Duxbury, but not succeeding. A smashing game, here's that chance again, back post, watch it. There's Rosenthal coming on to him, very close to the goals, straight over his head, but luckily enough for Mims, it was straight at him, so he was able to push it away, but he was very close to him, but good positional play from the goalkeeper to get it away. Houghton flying it back in again, Gale with a good stop. Played a poor ball to Frank Stapleton, though, back into trouble again. And May is happy to knock that behind, and that's a wise decision by the big centre-back. Because Gale did very well defensively, and then on the out-pass, gives Stapleton no chance. So the pressure stays on, can Liverpool turn the screw? Rush is in there, Glenn Hussein. John Barnes, of course, surrounded by Blackburn players. Staunton, lazily in. Linesman is flagging, referee is whistling, and it's a free kick to Blackburn Rovers. Sablin, Hussein and Garner, McMahon, Houghton, Rosenthal with May. Look at the pace of Rosenthal. Tremendous pace, the Israeli international. That's exactly what it gives the Liverpool team because none of the other Liverpool players that I know, Beersley, uh, Aldrush, get behind the defenders like that or even try to get behind them for those long runs. And Liverpool need somebody like that at times with all the good play and all the good passing to get behind defenders and really open them up a bit. And Rosenthal's great at that. Stoughton's corner. Well, look at 
looking for another one. Gary Gillespie claiming, but judged to have come off him and goal kick to Blackburn Rovers. Nickel. Alton. Rush. Burroughs. McMahon. Rosenthal. Taken down by Kevin Moore. Free kick to Liverpool. It's Rosenthal just on the right of the wall. Staunton and Barnes are the two players nearest the ball. Now Barnes has gone away from there, leaving it to Staunton and McMahon. Hit it with a lot of sting, all right. Mims has to get uh, the credit for saying he had it covered, but there was a lot of pace in the shot. That's a strong win, and the ball coming across at that angle from uh, to McMahon. Catching it just on the outside of his right foot, hitting it into the win and just swerving away from Mims. Stapleton. What a great ball by Stapleton. Now here's the chance for Garner. And Brotherlord does the business when it really was put up to him. But what a super ball by Stapleton from a, an outside right position to find Garner. Maybe Garner, the great goal scorer of a black hole, didn't have the pace of yore, but my goodness, it, Brotherlord, when needed, really produced the goods then. And in enough pace to get through and get a shot in. Brotherlord, for having a bad game, did extremely well there because that was low down by his foot and he got a good touch to that and he gets a touch to that it's only away momentarily now Steve McMahon can complete the job but Kevin Moore is well positioned to play it back to Bobby Mills with what a smashing game absorbing first half a lot of good football and 100% effort from just about everybody Blackburn here have only won one of the last nine second division games and Liverpool have lost only three out of 23 league and cup games this season so quite a difference in the build-up coming to this but the match stride for stride right from the start I think this is a danger for Liverpool now and, and uh, May is a long tr throw and he should throw it in the box here and they'll really test Grabola now what they should do is not give a free kick away, really go for the ball and put Grabelar under all sorts of pressures here. And it is a big one from May, and flick it across the goal and it's in! Garner, Simon Garner! Well, it was brilliantly taken, it was a long throw in, the flick on. And if you watch Garner strike here, technically it's brilliant toe down as he's hitting the ball and it's not an easy strike it's coming at him fairly quickly and there he is he stood there quick quickly down real striker's goal an instinct to keep his toe down get at the ball and a great start for Blackburn in the second half that's for sure oh it's a brilliant goal by Simon Garner he scored over 200 career goals and that's a precious one and they haven't scored many better brilliant goal I mean technically perfectly hit he only needed a sniff and that's all he got and now the stars of the first division are up against it at Ewood Park in the dusk and the wind. Well, dusk outside the ground, the lights are on. And there's howling gale, and Liverpool are now playing into it. Steve Nicholl, Rosenthal, Nicholl. The ball through to Staunton. And again, it's Kevin Moran who got in the challenge. Rosenthal, Staunton. Mims comes for it, looks to be impeded. Barnes puts it in, free kick to Blackburn Rovers. No goal. No goal. Well, I think that's touching goal, but again, if we see it, it'll be interesting to see what Rush does to him. The referees are inclined to give the benefit of the other goalkeepers. You've only just got to breathe on them nowadays. Just see if Rush goes for the ball. Well, maybe he did get his elbow up there. I think the referee was right. But Liverpool do look dangerous when they attack. to take the free kick breaks out here to Garner nice cross and Graveler was A-W-O-L there again Frank Stapleton coming in at the end of it but what a good piece of play again by Garner and 
Watch the keeper. Hassan did well there. Hassan was uh, was challenging Stapleton. He was always second favourite to get it. He just used a bit of experience and leaned into him just enough to put him off. Out and Nickel. Rosenthal with Kevin Moore. Nichols cross. Rush. Nice little turn by Rush to give himself the space. The finish didn't match it. With him there is David May, number five, only 20 years old. Fifteen minutes gone, the second half. Blackburn Rovers won, Liverpool nil. Simon Garner, the goal scorer. As Ronnie Rosenthal goes searching for the equaliser. Chance from the Liverpool fans that Kevin Moore brought him down. But the referee's decision will be a corner ball to Liverpool. And Ray Houghton will go out to take it. Liverpool have stepped on the gas, and that's for sure. There's still a goal in arrears as Houghton takes the corner. Vicious swing on it. Frank Stapleton's header got it away. And now it's Gale. Put down by Staunton. The referee will have a word about that. As Blackburn on the break. Nicky Reid has got it away. And for once, a foul has penalised the team that was fouled. And that's most unfortunate. Now, Burrow, Burrow's in the past. We've seen him in trouble with this sort of foul. And it's Steve Staunton this time. Now he should have come back to Staunton and spoke to him after Blackburn were on the break. I'll tell you, Jim, the way things are gone, it's very silly. It's very silly of Staunton again because the referees have been told um, to clamp down on that particular type of thing. And in fact, he could get a red card for it. I've seen red cards for less this year. And uh, I think once he's in that situation, he should just let the player go. Have to let him go. Kevin Moore. Certainly no doubt about the Blackburn skill nor commitment. All that's left of them now is the resolution to keep it going. Against one of the finest sides ever in English football. But again, a good piece of work by Sellers, with whom I'm most impressed. Sellers to Frank Stapleton. Stapleton getting on the low cross to Mix. Gillespie snatch at it. Nickel to McMahon. McMahon looks for Rush through the middle. And across came Kevin Moore. And now the referee will reach in his pocket again, reminiscent of a cup final with Peter Reid. When Kevin Moore made a piece of history and got the line at Wembley. We've got a red card here, Kevin. It'll be very will, unfortunate. It is a red card again, I'm afraid, for Kevin Moore. That is very unfortunate. If you watch Kevin here, I think Kevin sees the ball as, as we know him. He only sees the ball here. I don't think he, Rush is trying to knock it around him. It was certainly no better or no worse than what happened to Steve Staunton a few minutes ago. I don't like that rule. I must say, Jimmy, I don't like that rule at all. And now how, how it can... There's a standing ovation for more as he leaves the field. It'll be poor consolation to the Dubliner, but really... Was it any worse than Steve Staunton's fall a few moments ago? And for Staunton, it was yellow. For Moore, it is red. And it's that inconsistency that is annoying players. Now, Liverpool are a man up and a goal down in a cup tie. There are so many talking points. You could spread them around the rest of the cup today and they'll all be good games. Barnes and Staunton are the players of the ball. Staunton gets, skips away from Gale. Half of Liverpool was offside anyway. Go on, go on, get him up! Get him up! Get him up! Gillespie kills it for Burroughs. May. Sellers. He was the best ball control of any player on the field, and that includes John Burroughs. Trying to get the ball through to Garner. And what about that for a foul? And what about that to match the Kevin Moore tackle? 
he's off as well, I think, Jimmy. I think he'll go now, Hussain. Well, Hussein really has to go if the referee's consistent. There cannot be an argument at all. I don't advocate that uh, Glenn Hussein did anything to deserve the sending off. But if Moran goes, surely he must go too. Is he booked him? No. It doesn't look like he's booked so. Amazing. I don't know what the referee is The place is seething with anger here in Blackburn, I can tell you that. Yes, off. he is off. He is off and he had to go. Hussain is off. But again, Jim, I don't think either player should go off. No, he doesn't deserve to go off, but if the referee should insist it has to be. And now we have ten aside. Players who have played with a great deal of spirit and absolutely almost entirely devoid of viciousness and yet end up at ten aside is a very poor reflection on something within the game. Steve Staunton leaves the arena and allows in Jan Mulvey. Reid sweeps it away. Burrows. Mulvey. Nickel. Well, Gary Gillespie had sneaked forward. And for once, there was a bit of a lackadaisical approach by Blackburn. You can't be accused of it too often in this game. They want to bring in a sub because Sellers, one of the men of the match, his first game, he didn't even pre-season train because of growing operation, is obviously exhausted, goes off. It's certainly not because he was playing badly, that's for certain. And Paul Shepster comes into the Blackburn side. Liverpool have about 20 seconds left to try and get this game back to a replay. Barnes is in there, pulling at it, mulling at it. In by Burroughs. Burroughs to Nickel. Dixbury away. Nickel back in again. Now John Barnes. Nice little layoff to Rosenthal. Back to Barnes. And the cross caught Mims. Wrong footed. Shepson cutting it out of play. And the Blackburn people here can hardly contain themselves. The last born in controversial circumstances. Then his end, equally so, set off for Liverpool. A match that had everything, good football, hard football, and loads of talking points. And is there to be another talking point before the finale? Nickel here with Shepston. Referee has another look at his timepiece. Ray Houghton reads for Liverpool. Cross is being winning, and it's in the net. Mark Atkins and OG. Oh, Blackburn. I'll tell you before this ball comes over, Jimmy, it looks like it could have been a penalty kick or somebody pushed um, Gillespie, and that's why the defender was taken by surprise and actually hit him on the foot with going into the back of the net. A great ball from Houghton in this position, but watch Gillespie as the ball comes over, gets a little nudge, look, go up for it, and that's why the defender, I think it was Aikens, was caught by surprise, but what a disaster for Blackburn. Kenny Dalglish will be saying his prayers tonight, that's for sure. Just when the journalists had their stories wrapped up, it was hold that story in Fleet Street and elsewhere. It was hold your breath, Liverpool. The game was an injury time and the game is over. And that was, as far as Dalgleish and Liverpool is concerned, the great Houdini of the FA Cup of 1991. In the end, Mark Atkins, the unfortunate player for Blackburn, they did enough to win it. But Liverpool did enough too, I suppose, to battle off for a draw that will be talked about as long as this cup football. John, it was a super match. Uh, uh, certainly one of the best games I've ever seen, and uh, uh, certainly cup tie, it was brilliant. The only thing that spoiled it was the referee's decisions, I felt. I think both players should have finished with 11 players on the field, uh, but full marks to Liverpool for keeping going. Very sorry for Blackburn because they've had heroes all over the pitch and it was an unfortunate goal to give away. But so if you keep playing and keep doing the right things, beautiful ball by Houghton for Liverpool to equalise. And the game's never over. 
until the whistle blows, as they say, and Liverpool proved that today. In the first minute of the second half, Garner, the lead for Blackburn, in the last minute of the second half, an OG that brings Liverpool to Anfield for the replay and a new breath of life in the cup. The favourites are still alive, but Blackburn did themselves and Division 2 proud.